A student accused of opening fire at a high school south of Spokane, Washington, had previously posted online videos of himself acting out shootings. In the attack yesterday, one student was killed. Three others are in stable condition. Mireya Villarreal reports from Rockford, Washington. While you and him were off playing Halo, I just sat up here planning your murder. This YouTube video posted in June of the suspected shooter Caleb Sharp shows the high school sophomore role playing in a first person shooting game with toy guns. Off that lawnmower, you cheater. A newly released affidavit says Caleb told detectives he came to school yesterday to teach everyone a lesson about what happens when you bully others. He told detectives he's been seeing a school counselor for suicidal ideations. The guns belong to Sharp's father. His parents told detectives they found a suicide note written by their son a week ago. Sharp's first shots came from a rifle that jammed up. His second weapon, a handgun, was used to shoot fellow sophomore Sam Strahan, who was attempting to intervene. At one point, he even said, I always knew you were going to shoot up the school. Sharp shot Strahan in the abdomen and face killing him. Sheriff Ozzy Nezovich says minutes later, the school janitor, Joe Bowen, stepped in to stop the shooter. Has Joe told you why exactly did he step in at this time? He put his life on the line. Those are rare people. And if you ask him, I'll bet you he can't tell you. You just do what you got to do. Joe confronted him, ordered him to the ground, and then held him there. According to the affidavit, a friend of Sharp's told detectives Caleb makes improvised explosive devices out of various chemicals and white gas and offered to show him how to make the IEDs. Does it surprise you that a 15-year-old boy was playing with chemicals for IEDs? Not at all. This is a situation that plays out in our society way too often. The sheriff wants to charge the alleged shooter as an adult, even though he is only 15 years old. His charges would include premeditated murder with an arraignment set for later this month. Anthony? Mireya Villarreal in Rockford, Washington. Thanks, Mireya.